the struggle of shell-shocked soldiers who, although removed from the front line, still experiences the physical and mental horrors of war. In addition to this, he criticises the civilian naivety and the damages done to soldiers' lives. In the poem Mental Cases, Owen looks at the traumatic and psychologically damaging effects the war had on soldiers. In a sense, this poem is particularly personal to Owen because during the summer of 1917, he too was treated for shell shock. It is during this time that Owen met Sassoon, another credible war poet. Sassoon inspired Owen very much and is somewhat responsible for the context of Owen's war poetry. In the first stanza on Mental Cases, the men are described as purgatorial shadows. This image of insubstantiality implies that the men have been dehumanised to some extent as a result of their mental condition. Owen then goes on to highlight the sickness of the men by mentioning their drooping tongues and their fretted sockets. This diction is very powerful and the reader feels somewhat empathetic towards the soldiers. In the first line of the second stanza, Owen mentions how the dead has ravished the minds of men. This in particular is very striking to the reader in the sense that there is a contrast between the men's physical and mental welfare. This also suggests that the psychological scars of war are just as horrific as bodily injuries. By using words like extrication, Owen highlights how the men are almost trapped within themselves as their mental condition overwhelms them. And in the final stanza, Owen mentions how their eyeballs shrink tormented. This again goes back to the idea of the soldiers being unable to escape their misfortune. It's as though the sense of identity they had prior to the war has been stripped from them, and they are now only known as mental cases. In World War I they called it shell shock, now we call it delayed stress syndrome. But it really is all the same thing, a universal horror passed down through the traumatic experiences. By all accounts, trench warfare of World War I was the penultimate horror in the history of warfare, with its massive use of poison gas, relentless artillery, shelling day and night, and the first use of the machine gun. As a result of shell shock, men were haunted and submerged by the memories of the intolerable shocks they faced. Thousands of bodies literally disappeared into the muddy crater chasms of artillery shells. Wilfred Owen surely had witnessed such horrors also, and let us not forget that Owen himself was killed in the final days of the war at the age of 25.